Du är så duktig. Du är så stark. Vi är svenska fans allihop. I love that he tried. <laughs> But like it was very cute. Funny that we say cute not to say they are bad. <laughs> no. I remember one Korean actress speaking Spanish. She was quite famous, but something happened. She said she was studying in a university in Spain, but mm, after all, it was all lies. She said, oh, I speak very good Spanish, and then I listened, and it was not that good. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand anything that I just said, because I heard you have some German skills. Yes, you said, uh, 15 minutes Fragen von uh, Leute und uh, unsere Film kommt on the 5th of January. Du heißt Aslam, Aslam Evans, and das ist für Bild? Richtig. Richtig? That's very impressive. impressive. Yeah. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> impressed, actually. Like, I just saw now that it's from a German, like a German interview. So. Actually, it was not bad. Like, he knew all the facts, like, the interview was asking, and he could translate pretty well. I think German is super, super difficult to learn, to speak, and to speak it well. And I was surprised. I didn't know he spoke German. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally Jennifer Lawrence, like... <laughs> wow. I, I couldn't get not even one word, so... Sandra Bullock! Oh, yeah, I've heard of her, that she can speak. Danke. Ach, Mensch, bin ich nervös, weil da drüben auf dem Boden liegt meine Sprache. <lacht> In was für großartigen Zeiten wir leben, weil irgendwann war ich mal Kellnerin, dann war ich Putzfrau, dann war ich Tispotänzerin, dann war ich Hundefriseuse. Wer, wer hätte gedacht, dass all diese Berufe mich eines Tages auf diese Bühne führen würden? Aber... <lacht> So I already like knew that she speaks German, but I think I never heard her speaking German. And I think if I would compare both of them, like first one was like maybe B1 level, but she's like native. Like she speaks really, really well. Like she even has an accent, I feel like. Yeah, I was super impressed. That was, like, native, yeah, yeah, native. Was it she joking also, like making some? Yeah, yeah, she was like saying in her career what kind of jobs she made. Like she was like, oh, I was like a dog stylist and I was like a, you know, server and those kind of stuff. She seems super fluent. Like, I mean, yeah. if we don't know she's not German for people who are not German, yeah. she looks like super natural. For me, it's like when I say, oh, I hear an accent in her, it's more like a German accent. Like not like, a, you know, from a different city in Germany. Yeah, like a dialect I can hear. Und es gibt nur eine Art, die wir, äh, in der wir die Deutschen nicht schlagen können und das kämpfen. Und ich glaube, das haben wir heute über 90 Minuten gezeigt. Wir haben gekämpft, gekämpft und alles gegeben und ich glaube, am Ende wurden wir dafür belohnt. Ja, nee, also wir haben von der ersten Minute an angefangen zu kämpfen und dann ist uns das erste Tor gefallen zum Glück. Also ich, äh, und danach spielten wir ein bisschen befreiter, aber dann kam das blöde 1-1. Aber da haben wir uns in der Halbzeit noch vorgenommen, weiter so zu machen, wie wir es in der ersten Halbzeit gemacht haben. Maybe he's been in the country for a long time because like he seems really fluent. Yeah, because I even look, looked away to just like listen to it. I was like, yeah, that's just German. Also like no dialect in yeah, this that's case. What, like, yeah, he seems yeah. really like German German. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like with Chris Pratt, it sounded like he was speaking English, but just the words were not English. Yeah. Yeah. But with these two, like they definitely sound like they're actually German or something. Yes. Yeah. And like they both of the last ones, they could like really form like long sentences. Chris Pratt was like, I mean, he also can speak, but like more like yeah, like a lower level. It feels like, like when yeah. you try to translate in the class, like yes. something your teacher just told you and you're like in a rush translating. Yeah. Yes. It's still impressive, but yeah. definitely not similar. Yeah, like usually people see German as like an aggressive language when they can mm. hear it. Or in Germany, you have also really different dialects. I feel like he was really like German German, like in Germany we say Hochdeutsch, which is like clean German, kind of like, like the basic German. And he sounds more like this. And Sandra Bullock was more like, oh, I have a dial like a dialect. I come from this city, so you can be like, oh yeah, she was raised there. Yes, like in the I think like the more north you go, there are like less dialects. So it's like the clean German. And the more south you go, the harder the dialect gets. And I'm from the south, so <laughs> <laughs> you do have one. I I mean you do use. I like my parents have one. I don't have one. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Bueno, cuando tenía 15 años yo estaba estudiando español en el colegio en Nueva York y la profesora nos, nos han dicho, eh, bueno, hay una oportunidad a ir a España, a estudiar ahí. 
Entonces yo hacía un intercambio y vivía con una familia en el centro de España, cerca de Toledo. Y me encantó y fue como un, una temporada en mi vida muy importante. Y me encanta España, la cultura latina. Siempre me voy a México, por ejemplo. Me, me gusta mucho la cultura, la lengua, la, la gente. Sí, actually looks like she have been she has been learning Spanish in Madrid that is my place I am from Madrid which is the capital of Spain and I really loved watching her because also her face everything like her face her vibes are like a Spanish person it's true that maybe she was speaking a little bit slowly Spanish people we speak very fast but I think she she was great. Yeah, her pronunciation sounded like really good, I feel like. Yeah, they learn it from uh, Latin American countries. So they tend to have those maybe accent from Peru or an accent from uh, Mexico, but she had Spanish accent from Spain. And she really looked confident. Yeah, yeah. she looks confident, that's why. Also her face, she could be named Maria and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that could work, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I didn't know that he could speak Spanish. Muy, muy contento de estar aquí. Es uh, mi primera vez aquí en Argentina y me, me encanta Buenos Aires. Fuimos a uh, un uh, partido de polo. Me uh, decía, okay. necesito practicar más. No, está, está muy bien. <laughs> está muy bien, muy bien. Gracias, gracias. I love that he tried. <laughs> Like, but it was pretty nice, like he could speak, but same, but it was very like cute, you know, any Spanish speaker that can like that see this video, they are gonna be like me, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it gave me like kind of the vibe from yeah. the German first video, yeah. Oh, oh, Lady Gaga. Yeah. Yeah. She played oh, in I Gucci saw movie. That interview, actually. <laughs> really? <laughs> Yo paro con un acento italiano en el film, uh, House of Gucci. So, my name is Lady Gaga. Señorita Gaga. Te amo, Milano! Oh my god. That was passionate. Like, yeah, I, I, I love Lady Gaga. And I also already watch the video of the interview because I, I follow that program. She has a really basic Italian. She just has some words. I love the movie too, Gucci movie. She really doesn't seem Italian accent actually. So she can speak, but also the accent, I think it's more Russian than Italian when she was speaking during the movie. So it was kind of awkward for us when we were watching the movie, but she's really passionate. She's really funny. So she was just joking a lot during the interview. So also for her, at least she tried. Yeah, <laughs> she seemed really like positive about it, yeah. like trying and like, and usually people are like shy to speak another language, but she yeah. seemed really confident to also try. Like yeah. even if you're, like really basic level, like in those levels, people are more shy to actually talk, yeah. which is it's bad because you have to practice. So I think she's like a good like role model, like to keep trying kind of. I think that maybe she just learned some yeah. words to for the interview. So. Significa tutto per noi. Siamo una famiglia che capiamo che è molto molto importante fare le cose che che sono più grandi di te stesso, sai? Le cose che che le fai per altre persone che possono crescere, devi fare un po' di ispirazioni per, per loro. E è una bella cosa per noi avere questo, questo, questo momento. No, the Italian is perfect. I know that he trained in a city actually is close to mine. So he really has the same attitude, the same conversations that we can have in a daily life. In a, yeah. So he was like explaining his feelings, okay. winning that prize. I think he is Italian. I just, <laughs> I, I don't think about it. Like he is Italian for real. He sounded very confident. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, he seemed like he was trying to use the hand gestures to, to be more authentic. So what did you think yeah. about that? Uh, initially, yeah, we use a lot of hands. And as you can see, I always do it <laughs> to explain. It's a back page. Yeah, to keep it together. You cannot just speak by your mouth and not, <laughs> don't do anything because it's kind of uh, sounds kind of awkward to us. So I think it just like got this uh, use from us living there. Also, 
really easy to explain the things to the people that just, you have to go there or you have to do Passionate this. Italian. Yeah, it's really yeah. passionate. Also, I don't know if it happens to you, but for Spanish people, when we move and we speak at the same time, it makes us feel more relaxed while speaking. Yeah. It's not the same like speaking like this. To relieve the stress. You, yeah, that's it, yeah. I think we use our hands quite a lot, but because you feel more involved in the conversation if you do so, like, you know, the, your body goes yeah. to the person you're talking to. Showing interest and be like, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. And you like, she doesn't care about what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah okay, he's just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that mood. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's kind of true, like, if someone would just be like, mm-hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm, I would be like, are you still listening? Yeah. Yeah. Like, excuse yeah. me. Yeah. Oh. Timothy. Isn't he almost French? Let's see. C'était bien, mais il y avait Armin la dernière fois. Oui, mais il parlait anglais. Il parlait anglais, alors je faisais un petit peu les deux. Non, mais c'est parfait. Ok, j'essaye cette fois. J'essaye de faire tout en français cette fois. <rire> On verra. Armin pour oui. son film On the Base of Sex. Exactement. Avec Felicity, il est venu Non, il était tout seul. Il était tout seul Oui, il était tout seul. En français cette fois C'est très French. Si je regarde juste et que je ne prends pas compte des changements très subtils dans sa langue, c'est vraiment like really français. But he has this charming little tiny accent on some <laughs> continent. I mean, he spent a part of his life in yeah. France, probably. It's, it's so natural, but it's not perfect. <laughs> Which makes it even more appealing. <laughs> but to me, he, he looked like friends, like, oh, he's friends. I mean, the way he interacts yeah. with yeah. the interviewer, it's, it's like really, really natural. The mm -hmm. way he gets some of his words and repeats it, it's yeah. also something very... Yeah, I feel like other people when they speak in another language, like still maybe sometimes have to think before you like say, you know what I mean? Like yeah. kind of like, oh, okay, like I cannot just like talk. Mm, but, but he's like, oh yeah, I can just talk, I can have fun. It's very playful yes. and very uh, relaxed, calm behavior. So yeah. And as a non French speaker, he sounded very, very French just yeah. because the conversation was just like, tut, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 it's free. There was not like a long like pause a or something, exactly. yeah, like a real conversation. Yeah. Ooh, she I has love a good French. <laughs> J'ai habité en France pendant 5 ans. Je suis née à Paris. Mes parents ont travaillé comme avocate pendant 8 ans. It has more like a school French. Like, I mean, her grammar is perfect. And the way she articulates her sentences is perfect too. But she has an accent. Like, I can tell she's from uh, UK. Oh, yeah. It's like the one you learn in school. And like, she would have been a very good French student. <laughs> But she's, yeah, she's not native, like Timothée Chalamet. I, I don't know how to pronounce his name properly, actually. I say it in the French way. <laughs> it's not a French name, Timothée. It is, but I, I, I don't know if I should pronounce it differently. Yeah. I just saw some interviews with him where also people ask, like, oh, what's your name? How do you pronounce your name? <laughs> yeah. How do you pronounce his name? Like in, in French, I would say Timothée. I think that's how, also how he said it. Timothée Chalamet would have a um, friend French compared to her. But like, she's great nonetheless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, now I'm so curious. Yeah. I never heard other like, like celebrities. celebrities spoken Swedish ever. I just wanted to send my best wishes to you guys, the Swedish national football team. Du are so dukti. Du are so stark. Du are so fort. Du spelar mycket wit bra. Vi är svenska fans allihopa. Vi är svenska fans allihopa. Vi är svenska fans allihopa. Oh my god. That was passionate. Wow. I wanted to say it sounds like yeah. German. Like sometimes I was like. This usually happens when other people try to speak Swedish. They speak very hard, very harsh. So it almost sounds like. German. Yeah, like do the the. Yeah, it sounds yeah. like you do the the. Yeah. Because Swedish, we have a very like soft melody when we speak, but he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the grammar isn't like fully correct, but I do understand everything he says. But it's just very funny because he's very harsh. Mm, yeah, he seems so like angry yeah. or like passionate. Like, Maybe because of the football team, yeah, he's like, yes, you yes, can do it. it. You're great. Maybe he just like learned some words for the videos. Yeah, it sounds like that. His wife oh. is Swedish. Yeah, then she <laughs> should. <laughs> she has to try harder. She <laughs> needs to try harder. But like, it was very cute. Funny that we say cute not to say they're bad. <laughs> <laughs>
I think it's just like nice when they're actually trying to speak yeah. another language. So interesting. Yeah. Also to see the other languages, yeah. it was so interesting. I guess for English, the intonation seems to be more flat a little bit compared to like the Italian and Spanish like we were talking about earlier. But yeah, I guess to practice, just watch a lot of media content from America or like the UK, whichever accent you want to get. Actually, German is very stereotypically like a hard language. But actually, I think when you talk to other Germans, it's not that hard. So people, when they learn in, uh, German, when they learn German, they are thinking of this stereotype of being like, oh, I have to pronounce it this way, like really sharp, really hard. But in, like, in reality, it's not pronounced like this. And for Swedish, it's also like watching like shows online. It's basically the best way to listen to our melody and like because it's very smooth when you speak. It's a bit fast, like Spanish, we speak very fast, but it's very like a gentle language. So to some more native, it's just like listen because we use a lot of different, like a very calm like melody when we speak. For Spanish, like a lot of foreigners, they think they have to speak perfect Spanish to be understood. We can understand even if you make mistakes. But for being more fluent, maybe I would recommend music for Spanish, like choosing one country. I think that's the, the best someone that wants to learn Spanish has to do. Like not having mixed accents and mixed words and that things. Uh, I think speak with the other people and Italian natives is very important. In the languages, when you learn new one, the most difficult part is not studying usually, like the grammar. So after having a base of the grammar, it's really important to speak a lot and try hard. For me, also when I was learning English, like I was always concerned about making mistakes or I didn't have enough vocabulary or enough practice to like explain a word that I don't know in another way. So practice with the natives, it, it, I think it's uh, essential. And for French, I would say like, as you all say, like watching content in France, in French is actually maybe the best way because our writing system is not the most logical. And if you really want to learn every rule, you will probably give up. <laughs> so it's better to just listen. And also like, I guess French people, we are kind of lazy on the pronunciation. That's why we don't pronounce all the letters, like many letters just got lost as time went by. <laughs> so if you're like chill and if you do a lot of noise with your mouth to explain something, instead of choosing a word, just like trying having the bigger context. Context? Yeah. Like you don't need to have precise details about the sentence you want to say. You use your hands, you use your body language. Yes. I think people will get it and as you practice, then you will start to catch some specificities about our language. Being confident and being lazy is fine with French language. <laughs> <laughs> really. <laughs> well, today we watched American celebrities speaking different languages. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe and comment down below. We will see you next time. Bye! Bye.